I'll tell you, like, like for, for her and, and for our team, I think, you know, number one, we expect the same and, and then more. Uh, I think Kayla really understood at the end of last season, you know, as great as her accomplishments were and as much as she helped the team, I think she really had a great understanding that what she did to get there wasn't going to be enough to get her to the next level. And so she was very determined from, you know, the, the last second of our last game uh, to really expand her game. And so I, I look forward to, to actually seeing what she can do this year. Um, she was a, a bit one-dimensional with the three-point shooting last year, and, and she would be first to admit that. Uh, and I think becoming a more um, balanced player was something that she's worked hard on. And so I think she'll she'll be able to add a couple different facets, get to the rim and finish, and, and a nice pull-up jumper that should be able to uh, to help her, you know, really improve upon her performance from last year. Well, I think for us, you know, the, the three-point shooting um, is obviously, you know, we're an up-tempo team and, and we rely a lot on the three-point shot. Uh, we, we're really fortunate in that we have a lot of players that can shoot it. Uh, of course, Kayla, leads, Kayla Shaw leads the way with that, uh, but we have several other people really capable of shooting that shot. Uh, what I look forward to is now we've got um, a, a fairly young team that was young last year that got a lot of experience. They've been together an entire year. They've got all that experience, and now, you know, they've been in the system for a year. And so uh, I'm hoping that that will be a natural carryover for, for on the offensive side for the three-point shooting. And, um, you know, they know each other's strengths and weaknesses a little bit better. They're more familiar with each other. They have a better chemistry about them. So I hope to uh, to be able to sustain that for sure. Um, and then the rebounding side of things, you know, we, uh, we bring back most of our, our best rebounders. So we're really excited about that and very fortunate that we return a lot of our rebounding. Uh, in addition to that, we're adding some key pieces that I think will even enhance that. And so um, I, I really think that the, the three-point shooting and the rebounding should be two areas that we're able to, to stay consistent. And um, uh, hopefully we'll just be able to keep building on that. I'll tell you, it's a, it's a, a tricky question for me, really, because I feel like everybody needs to step up. You know, I mean, everything that we do on, as a team, uh, offensively and defensively, uh, with our system and our style, really requires everybody uh, to do well and play their part. And so for us, I feel like for us to be the best team we can be, uh, everybody has to step up a little. Uh, we don't need anybody to go from, you know, playing five minutes to starting and playing 40. You know, uh, we need everybody to really kind of embrace what they do, um, improve individually in the areas that you know, they know they need to improve on, and I think that will make our team a lot better. Wow, we have a lot of goals, uh, uh, and and you know we're we're probably not like unlike any other team out there with the excitement and the enthusiasm of starting a new season. Of course, you know we have high aspirations, and and someday we'd like to be able to call ourselves MAC champions. Um, on the flip side of that, I think that for us to be able to do that, we have some intangible goals. Uh, we, we have to be a team that is mentally tough. Um, and so we're going to challenge our team. That's what, one of our team goals, goals is to be one of the most mentally tough teams in the conference. Uh, I think along with that and defining that for us, uh, you'll see an all-out effort all the time. We'll have great attitude. We'll be smart. We'll be disciplined. There's so many things that kind of factor into us being a, a really mentally tough team. Um, then tangible wise, I think, you know, a goal for us and, and for us to be able to really make the next jump, we have to be a better half court defensive team. Uh, something that we've talked about throughout the summer and we've really spent some time on. Uh, and so we're, we, we want to finish in the top three in the conference defensively, for sure. Uh, and then I think the other piece for us is, is the ability now that we have some experience to, uh, to really take care of the ball. Um, you know, we get a lot of possessions, and if we could get a little bit better, just a few, you know, buckets here or there and taking care of the ball, I think that that will really bode well for us this season. So yeah, every season, you know, you, you, you add one or you take a – you add a player or you take a player away, the whole chemistry changes. And so I think for us, um, we don't really – we can't look at it as, you know, one person taking the place of Helena or Chris or Ty. Uh, all three of them were such big parts of our program, and they really added in different ways, each one of them in their own way. Um, I think we just are, are going to try to um, maximize the players that we have now. We have some that are ready to take that leadership role, you know, and, and really try to foster that and, and encourage that, uh, bring some people along with them. Um, we have other people that know maybe their role is not going to be in the leadership area, but in, in other areas of, uh, you know, whether it's on the offensive or defensive side. And so I think it's more of a commitment, a team commitment 
um, that everybody's going to do their part to make the team as good as it can be.